Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is me, one of freak. A small time ago I installed this uh, little game called uh, Scrap Mechanic. It's an early access, so it isn't quite perfect, and I found out myself by having multiple crashes. But luckily this time it didn't crash. Um, <clears throat> what I saw a lot upon YouTube was people making ordinary cars, RVs, buses, rocket cars. Well, I kind of wondered what was the extent I could go. I mean, I liked the idea of an RV or a big bus, so I immediately got the idea of literally making a big bus. Uh, I saw this cheesy 70s movies back in the day. It's a quite interesting and fond youth memory I had. And I always want to know if I could rebuild something like that in a game. Well, obviously there weren't many games that gave that opportunity, but this one gave it. And well, though it didn't turn out to be perfect, it certainly got... It's quite on a good way. I'm still thinking about making... Ooh, I showed it. A second version or next attempt. This is already my second attempt, uh, mind you. I didn't record my first one, but I kind of wanted to know what you guys thought of this one. And perhaps you guys have some idea how to improve it. Either way, meet my big bus. As you can see, it's quite long. It exists out of two parts. Uh, the front part has eight wheels, each of them are powered, just to ensure it has enough power to get this whole thing moving. Um, now it has the suspensions building. Building. The front wheels are turning wheels, obviously. As you can see, I used this pipeline uh, for turn bases instead of a block. It made it a bit more logical. I uh, couldn't really cover up the back part. I could do it on the aisle side. As you can see here, not the most prettiest, but efficient. But in all honesty, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the front has four headlights, a grill. It's rather simplistic. I mean, this is more test build than actually a uh, fully functional end vehicle. Uh, the reason this is a test build, and I'm going to retry it again, you might notice, uh, there seems to be a minor kick. I mean, it's not really standing on a gradient or in the middle of a mountain, or a, I don't know, hill. But you can see that the front and the outermost rear are more down placed than the middle part. And I'm not sure how, well I am sure how. I mean, these parts have springs on them, this bar doesn't. Uh, the reason that is is because this is a boogie. It's not uh, it's not fit to this carriage. It actually can turn on its own. Um, let me see if I can show you. With connect to, you can see here is a little rotary device. How do you call it? a bearing? And this bearing is attached to the top part of the vehicle. It's made out of one piece, so I can place it on a bridge. It's very uh, light on maintenance, so you can't crash it. Though my goal is to crash this as little as possible. Here you see the coupling. And here it goes up and down. Here it goes. Hope you can see it. Left and right. And this is kind of to ensure it doesn't tip over as quickly. It, these bearings ensure it can uh, rotate in three dimensions. It obviously means I can't go too close near uh, ravines, corners or holes in the ground. If that makes sense. Because otherwise it could tip over. Uh, there is a bit of an open space here in between. I mean, I tried to make some kind of wall, and I hope this would fit in here so that you don't really fall out of the carriage. But I noticed it got stuck upon that piece of a uh, yeah bellow, I could call it, and it uh, could cause the rear end to go all weird. What I also found out, I already made a test ride with this, uh, officially I already recorded this, but the recordings didn't have sound, so I had to redo the whole thing over again. But uh, I am noticing, I have noticed that the rear end is very heavy and will push the front end a little bit, so it's not the most easiest in the handling. Uh, when I do a second version, I didn't really... I didn't really... Uh, made any place for an extra engine, but when I make a second uh, version I will make I think either the rear wheels or these wheels powered but slightly less power than the front part so that it won't run away too easily. Uh, anyway, <coughs> let's open her up. I have these doors placed here, um, oh you can't see much, here, now you can see it. If I press this, I have a small door, as you can see it doesn't really go to the ground, this has a reason. 
uh, as another of the little mistakes the machine has, it's only the second attempt so when I place this 105 it should point down below but oh don't know if you can see it from inside I don't think as you can see it's starting to tilt up the whole vehicle so it doesn't work that well like I said it's my second attempt I really need to upgrade this design I I'm glad I'm showing this uh, either way I mean it shows what my plans are and I can show you what I have discovered during my learning process uh, this is the rear end it also has an opening flap this one fits no it doesn't fit uh, yeah it had a little problem a few minutes ago but why doesn't it go all the way down or let me see what happens if I do 120 or is this too much no it isn't as you can see this one can go all the way to the ground or at least low enough so you can walk in it's not perfect I'm actually thinking if I'm going to redo this that I'm not gonna make this an entrance because I kind of realize why should you have such a big entrance if you already have one there what I'm thinking of is making this some kind of porch so that uh, if you park your car somewhere you have a little uh, outside space you can relax, sit in and enjoy the sun. Uh, let me give you an example. If I make this 90 and go straight out, you can make uh, a small little fence here if it uh, doesn't collide with any objects. And then you can just look around yourself around your car and uh, have a very nice day. Uh, let us close this door down. As you can see the car, uh, the, I should have closed this one, but as you can see it's a very long vehicle. Now what I have here is obviously a door, and where this door leads to is a private dorm. Uh, this is everything someone needs, at least if they don't really take uh, hygiene in account. I mean, I have my toilet, I can take a poop, uh, let's close the door. Crouch and well, oh, 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 better not have that uh, selected. Sorry, that's the damn mouse pad this laptop has. I'm filming this from a laptop, so... Um, well, I have here my toilet. Uh, this is where all the shit goes into. If you press this button, it flushes. But it's not connected to anything, because that's not a feature Scrap Mechanic has implemented, implemented so therefore it has minus points. Uh, toilet roll, always needed. A sink, always needed. And my comfy cardboard bed with a cushion made out of warning tape of course a rubber ducky I mean every car, RV, truck or whatsoever must have a rubber ducky only I place it at the back not at the front because well it, it looks great I think uh, the thing hanging outside there is the air conditioning I mean you need to have some fresh air in this thing especially considering that I'm technically sleeping at the back which might have more exhaust fumes Let's oh, oh by the way, and <laughs> uh, this is a little sitting quarter at the front. What a nice plant! I mean, you need to think we. Uh, these are two gas engines because uh, you can only add four wheels to one engine, and I said before there are eight wheels powered in this thing, so I needed two. They are in the sixth level, I believe, for power, which is required to get this thing moving. Uh, here is my uh, driver seat. And I have this little light hole at the top, I'm quite sure you guys have seen it before, especially with these type of vehicles. The problem is uh, with scrap mechanic, it drops you at the top of the seat instead of next to it. So the problem is, once you uh, exit the vehicle and you have the complete roof enclosed, you'll get stuck in the roof. And that's not pleasant. I actually had it when my first, uh, when this base was done, when it didn't include the interior or anything. I just had this uh, whole car with a front window and the whole carcass uh, made. I actually tried to test run, the moment I sat in I was like, shit, I forgot to make the open hole. So I spawned out of it, got stuck in the roof and I actually had to remove it from the position I was in. It wasn't an easy job, but luckily I got it done right. Um, let me see, is there something else I need to tell? Ah, well. Frontline grills, I think I told almost everything. Ah, oh, what? Oh, by the way, the big wheels at the end, uh, like I said, I saw this movie of the big bus and it had bigger wheels at the end, so I thought it would be a nice cross reference. 
I think because of that movie I really liked absurdly long vehicles. Uh, some people might know, some people might not know. I'm a real fan of trains and railroading, so that also might have helped my uh, enthusiasm with long vehicles. But having it as a land vehicle, it was an odd idea, but I liked it. And uh, let's see how it does, uh, how it goes. I have had some test runs with it, like I said before. And I need to be careful. Um, it's not a, a mountain vehicle. Let me put it uh, this way. And with mountain vehicle, I mean you can't even go over the most steepest hill, uh, slightly steep hills. I mean you can see the steep hill back there at the silo. During the run I had a few minutes ago, I got stuck there, so I had to cross over the ground to get here, which is bad considering this is not an off-road vehicle at all. I mean it has just small springs. I did make the first test uh, vehicle to test out this concept with uh, off-road springs but really it's not much of a use I think to have off-road springs it only makes the vehicle higher and well it's a heavy thing anyway so half of the springs won't be used at all and uh, like I said I'm going into a direction I don't really like I think I can make this curve I'm not sure I can perhaps also go up this hill it really depends upon uh, how tight the decline is or how steep the upgrade hill uh, as you can see uh, because it's going uphill in a rather ordinary fashion you know it's not very steep at all I can make it but there you can see the road going uphill is way too steep I'm not gonna make this with it I'm not gonna make it with this bus uh, not in a long shot it's just it's going to get stuck in the middle part uh, or yeah exactly the middle part with the coupling I was going to get stuck in the middle part of the bus itself, so it can move. As you can see already, the rear wheel is spinning freely. So it doesn't always uh, touch all wheels on the ground. Which, uh, in that case, it's, it's a very smart idea of me. Uh, I think it was a very clever idea to have all four wheels running. All eight wheels running. I really need to get used to this fact that it has eight wheels. It's very odd, actually. Uh, as you can see the turning circle isn't too great but at the same time it's doable uh, especially if every road ends in these type of uh, sand pits then it's very doable uh, you can see you can see the bogey very good from here as you can see it made in, sort, uh, in some type of cross uh, shape and it has oh I can show it much better from the inside hold on I'm going to exit for a moment yeah as you can see I spawned in front uh, in the top of the vehicle luckily there was no roof but if you look down here well, if I don't get stuck here's the middle point of the bogey you could uh, see it turn just a few seconds ago so it, it works it works it does its part so now we're gonna drive further you can see the couplings working from here as well now we're gonna drive back to the road I came it's not an easy road but it does show the car can the bus can make uh, some kind of turns uh, this is the difficult part like I said the rear end is a bit iffy sometimes I need to put on some engines uh, I think to have some extra braking power because you can see uh, it's slidey a bit front it seems to be slidey it's not slidey in the sense that uh, look now I'm going a bit uphill and you can see it's driving just fine but the weight of the back end starts pushing because it is on a loose bogey and that's a bit difficult so I will need to place a second engine at the back a third engine at the back to at least have some extra brake powers uh, at the rear Doesn't it's, you know it's a bit of a problem with uh, the game You, if you add an engine at the back and you don't activate it the wheels can drag along you know it's not like uh, the engines can be shut down or disconnected you can't have engine just for brake powers but the problem with this design is you can't have an engine at the back have the same power as at the front otherwise it will make a lot of problems turning so I will have to have it a lower engine uh, power supply added and that might cause a, lot, a bit of an issue it might cause wheels to drag a bit but it will help keeping it stable I wreck it I haven't tried it before I mean like I said this is technically a test design god damn it okay this th this is an odd issue I have been having a few times I, it's not really much the game but the we uh, my touchpad my uh, keyboard seems to be sticky sometimes 
it seems to uh, stick at a certain sand so that when I'm trying to make a turn here as you see I made a way too far turn but that's because uh, it sometimes doesn't quite respond to my keyboard I don't know if this is because it's early access I mean it's not perfect but it is rather annoying especially when you're driving a vehicle like this where you really need to be careful how you maneuver this thing I must say it does drive quite well I mean for a vehicle this long and this absurd it does handle quite well in this uh, in these circumstances but it must be done very careful I uh, you can't take things too quickly you need to take things very calm and very slowly uh, the last test run I came down this road it, uh, it, it was very iffy I mean this is not our road vehicle and the first starting point I had for this machine was awful sorry for that I don't uh, I didn't think the sound of toilet flushing was a very good add-on to this video um, uh, kinda stopped in an awkward way but you can see the boat now uh, very clearly I think do I need Bowie? I think I do. I can better keep it in. I mean, technically, I have now two turning points. I have the bogey and the coupling. But I did that for a good reason. Ooh, shit. Now, this is going to be interesting. Uh, shit. I'm stuck on something. On what? Ah, damn it. Look, there's a bump. And that's a problem. And that's a problem I have with this vehicle. Uh, let's see if I can get back. The slightest steep bump will screw it over. So in that case, like I said, it's absolutely not an off-road vehicle. Even the road apparently isn't safe at some point. So you really need to be careful. Um, I can try something. Look, it's just getting way too bumpy down here. Let me get this first-person view. Now you can kind of see this is not the ideal road to go. So we need to find another way. I see a road back there, I don't know I can make it. We will try. Uh, first person is a bit better to see dangerous curve, but if I am seeing this correctly, mm, I need to stop. I don't think it's going to be an ideal road here. Uh, please tell me this door doesn't get jammed. I think it did. This is another issue I have uh, found within the game. Look, now it opens. It sometimes seems to forget it has doors. It sometimes seems to glitch out. And that's kind of difficult. As I showed you, if I, when I remove this part, the door opens. This, this is why I had this winch in my uh, inventory the whole time. Uh, once you have driven with it, it sometimes seems to forget you can open the doors. I have seen this on other YouTube videos, so it's not because of the jams, it's just, I think, a bug in the game. But now we're going to have a little issue. We will need to see how to get this car to straight land again. So I'm kind of looking around. Is there a road nearby that we can go on? Yeah, yeah, here. I think from here you can find an easy way. How am I going to get there? Well, I'm going to be nuts, but I will have to go through these trees, and I'm quite sure I'm gonna get. I'm gonna regret that. But just for demonstration purposes on off-roading parts, we're gonna try it. Bear with me. <laughs> Alright, this is quite scary. The problem is the length of this car, uh, of this bus, makes it very unreliable in tight curves. But I think I am doing it quite well here. As you can see, it can go off road. I mean, it's not very uh, unresponsive, but it just really depends. Yeah, this was too much of a curve. Uh, this was too much of a fall down. Oh, need to be careful. Look, this is a bit of the difficult part. You really must not drive in any hole like uh, formation here. You need to try to drive as level as possible. Yeah, that's about the best thing I can tell. Oh, 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 I think the rear end slipped a bit. Yep, it did. Uh, once again, showing that I really need to have some braking system back there. We'll make this curve slowly, slowly, slowly. I don't think I'm gonna make it though. Yeah, the, yeah, the rear end I think is kind of buggy. Luckily, this coupling system is rather um, forgiving, as in you can bend it a bit further than one 
should be able to in real life. I mean, quite sure I would have busted this uh, coupling system in real life handling it like this. But it is rather forgiving. That's what's so good about the design. So if I screw up, uh, as you can see, the bus is now still complete. Nothing has tipped over. So let's follow this road until uh, it, uh, it almost ended. You know what? We're going to park it here, and we're going to place this. Uh, we're going to make this the end uh, space. It shows a bit of what it can do. It shows a bit the problems it has with the design. I will need to sort it out. Um, I might upload another video showing uh, progress. I mean, this whole bus will need to get rebuilt. Let's be honest. It uh, has some issues like with the weight uh, distribution, like uh, the front and the end being slightly a bit lower than the rest. So I will need to uh, fix that. And well. Now it opens up perfectly, that's odd. Um, and you can, even in the curve, enter the rear part, which is quite nice. But if you open this one, now this one opens as well. That's odd, isn't it? Really is a glitch in the game, I think. Uh, they really should look at that. Yeah, either way, I am quite excited about this project. I do want to make a better version, and perhaps a bit more symmetrical version. I mean, I don't know if you guys have noticed it. Don't need to walk in the, tree here. In the trees. The front bit is shorter than the rear bit, which is a bit um, odd. I don't really like that. I want to have the front part to be about the same length. So I don't know if I'm going to make the rear bit shorter or the front bit longer. But anyways, um, tell me what you guys think of this design. And if you have any ideas on approving it, please tell me. Uh, give me tips, give me hints, give me something you want to see in this bus. Uh, if you even want to see a second video explaining this bus, and uh, or in that case it will be another bus, an improved one. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so long, give me hints, give me comments, give me up ratings, give me down ratings, uh, don't care. Uh, subscribe, at this to favorite, you know what to do. Uh, YouTube is out for about a million years right now. Uh, well, at least 10 years. So, good evening. And good night.